Oh my gosh, there's two people other than me on here. What's going on? Oh my goodness. I don't know. I'm happy I was able to make it that I have power. That's right. You dodged you dodged that uh, hurricane. Yes, we did. did. You huff and you puff and you blew it upstate. <laughs> <laughs> you had a hurricane. We had an earthquake a couple nights ago. This has just been exciting. Oh, but it's not as exciting as what's happening in uh, this part of the world, in Northern Virginia. You know, we had all those cicadas that were making all that noise. Well, they lay their eggs in the trees, in the little tree branches. And four, four to six weeks later, they those little larva things fall out of the trees, fall into yeah. the ground and eat roots for 17 years. So... So now they're all starting to fall out of the, like rain. So my neighbor across the street said he's going to start wearing the mask I made him on top of his head instead of over his face just to keep the things out of his hair. <laughs> that is not proper mask wearing procedures. No, no. <laughs> But we, we've had some pretty good comments on our last two broadcasts. Um, meeting our spouses and finding out a little bit about them. And then Jillian finding out about what goes on behind the scenes at Road. Yes. Yeah. Yep. She's the girl. So, oh, hey, she's Matt, the woman. <laughs> yeah. How was it behind the camera, Matt? How was it being the producer? It was fine. No big deal. No big yeah. deal at all. Yeah. <laughs> Jillian's got the cush gig. Oh, yeah. It sounds like a man. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple announcements about it's so road because we're so busy in here planning road and isa up we're going to switch it's so road to a first and third thursday of the month is what we're hoping so we're going to switch the day we're going to do it on thursdays and it's now going to be the first and third so obviously tomorrow we won't have an it's so road but in two weeks we will and we will have guests lined up. We'll be starting to interview some of our faculty members. We'll be getting some vendors in. So it will be uh, twice a month, first and third Thursday. So that's exciting news. Yes, yes. And we have, we have a great broadcast today planned for you. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, what's coming up for Road in Person, and it's really exciting. It is. So we are doing a rundown, I think is what we're going to call it, of each teacher today and we're doing one class from each teacher so on some teachers they're only teaching one class and we'll, we'll kind of as we go through the schedule if it uh, pops up in the mind we'll indicate that um but we'll be going through and discussing them giving you some little background information about them uh stevie and i have pretty much picked all these classes together with jillian for the most part um in and out so we, well, we picked them at one point in time, so we know them fairly well. There's still a couple teachers we are going to be hiring here over the next week or two um, that obviously won't be included on this. We've got two classrooms that we are filling hopefully soon. Um, so I think it's time to get started. Um, well, I, well, Matt, you ahead. might want to tell them that the reason that, that we are still filling those two classrooms is because we, cha because we had a date change. Uh, oh, well, the date so change really didn't have much to do with it. And and we had a hotel change. So the, the classroom, yeah. got a bit. I mean, it's not that we're that lackadaisical. <laughs> it's, no, no, no. The biggest deal was the hotel. Yes. Right. The hotels, uh, we normally use the Ontario Gateway Hotels as a classroom, as, as everyone's uh, aware of. And we've used them for quite a few years, the, the downstairs, so the four ballrooms and the one extra meeting room on the side. Um, we got notice from the convention center a couple weeks ago that they are concerned that the gateway construction project, because they've pretty much ripped that building down to the wooden studs, um, is not on track to be completed in time for January. Um, so if you're booking your hotel reservations, you probably should avoid booking there because you may not have a room to stay in. And um, <laughs> finding a hotel room, once you find that out, might be extremely difficult and extremely expensive. Um, so that's one thing we'll talk about today at the end of the program. I want to give you a little insight into um, the hotel selection process that we go through 
and why there's certain hotels picked. So we chose the Ontario Airport Hotel, I think is the name of it. There's so many Ontario blank blank hotels. Ontario Airport and Conference, Ontario Airport and Conference Center um, Hotel. It's one exit over from the convention center. Um, it's a $7.80 Uber ride or something like that. So it's not an expensive Uber ride to go back and forth. It's about 10 minutes. Um, the convention center has told us during show days, so that would be um, Wednesday through Saturday, they will be running a big 52-passenger shuttle bus between this hotel and the convention center. Um, it is the cheapest hotel in the block. I believe it's $114 a night, which is really, really reasonable as far as hotel rates are concerned. Um, that is one thing, Ontario, all the hotels have kind of stepped up. We asked them to lower the uh, hotel rates they have. We'll get into more of that later. But as we go through, you're going to notice that um, we talk about uh, classes at the hotels. If you're staying from out of town, I highly encourage you to book a room at that hotel um, so that you don't have to even leave the hotel. They have a restaurant, they have a coffee bean, and they have your classrooms. I mean, it's, it's the perfect situation. Yeah. So, all right, Jillian, let's get them going. Cool. All right, so the first class you're gonna feature is a 0003C, Biggie the Bee by Krista Moser. If you don't know anything about Krista, Krista is a Creative Grids uh, Rulers designer. Um, and Krista is an all around sweetheart. Um, a, a quick note real quick about the 0003. We've never had classes start with a zero like this before. That indicates that this class is actually being held Sunday prior to the quilt show opening. Um, the dates in here, it's uh, January 16th. So ISCF would conclude on the 15th. That Sunday the 16th, we have some crossover classes. You'll see some garment fashion sewing classes on the uh, International Sewing Arts Festival catalog, and you're going to see some quilt classes on the Road to California catalog. Um, so the kind of the funny story about this class is I saw this hanging, I believe, in, a, in her quilt market booth. Mm -hmm or somewhere I saw this and she submitted her classes to teach for us. And this one was missing. And I called her and said, Krista, I need the B. I love the B. That is adorable. So, and, and after pulling, you know, kind of having to encourage her to put the B on, she, she did put the B on. So this class is $97. There is no kit. And it is a six hour beginner to intermediate class. So this would be a great class for you to take um, if you want to learn how to use a 60-degree diamond creative grids ruler. So that's kind of exciting. So, Jillian, let's pull up the next one. Well, this is uh, John Flynn's class. It's the only class that John is teaching this year. Um, and Carolina Lily is just one of those, those great old – uh, patterns been around since the 1800s and but John has made it a little bit more modern because of the coloring he uses. Uh, I happen to know that this class you make one block and then if you decide you really like this technique then you can buy a kit for this particular quilt in a variety of different sizes right range ranging from cr crib quilt size up to probably a queen, um, which I think is a great way to take a class. You don't, you know, if you love it, then you can keep on going. And if you don't love it, then, you know, you've at least learned how to do some some piecing the, the John way. Yeah. So, oh, one thing, one thing I forgot. This was important. Both the, uh, both of these classes, the Krista Moser class and this John for the class have machines provided. So the Biggie the Bee by Krista Moser, the machines for that class are provided by Junomi and our local dealer, uh, Moore Sewing Center. And this Carolina Lily class is machines provided by Baby Lock, who's also um, sponsored by Moore Sewing Center. So we have great machine partners, and we'll go through them as we continue through the list and uh, make sure you know that. So this as well is a six hour class, all levels for the skill. It's a $22 kit and the class is $117. All so we had Kate um, on the show a couple of weeks ago, didn't we, Stevie? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And, and she uh, previewed this, I believe. Yes, she did. She did. 
again, this is the same type of thing. You know, you, you'll, um, I believe you'll, well, maybe I'm wrong about that. Yeah, I think it is. You still you make make one block, and then you can you can opt for larger size quilts if if you want to make make it larger. I've taken classes from from John and Kate both, and they, they are both um, really good teachers. And Kate, I just she's just such a sweetheart. Just love her. So that that also is a uh, this particular one is on sun, Sunday, and that is the only. Only class that Kate is also. No, no, no. What? This one is on Monday. This, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it is Monday. This is on it. Monday, the 17th. The cost is $102. It's a six hour class for an intermediate skill level. And the kit fees $10. So the kit only includes enough fabric to make a block. No, it's not. So a that's a CDO saying. So pre cut. Pre -cut. Recut, very important. And yeah. these, the, class, the machines for this class are provided by Foth, and our local dealer is Pollard So Creative. So you can look them up as well. So the next one is something I've always wanted. I've always wanted a Hawaiian, like a hand done Hawaiian quilt, and I just don't have the time to do it. But you can, and you probably do if you want to take 1004C by Carrie Fondy. So you're actually gonna make an 18 inch pillow in this class. And Carrie is a Hawaiian applique, I'm gonna use the word master. She's been teaching this for us for eons and eons and eons. And her stuff is gorgeous. I mean, I would love to have one of these things in the house. Yeah, and she's also a vendor for Aloha Quilt Shop. So that is her vendor name. She will have a booth in the show as well. Right. Right, uh, Linda so, and I actually sailed with um, with Carrie yeah. uh, two years ago to Hawaii and back, and she was a delight to have on board with us. Yeah, she she really knows Hawaii too. Yeah, yeah, and she knows she knows this technique. So if you want to take this handwork class, now that's the best part about this is it's done by hand. So you don't have to worry about dragging a machine in or using a machine you're uncomfortable with. This is a handwork class. It has no kit. It's for all skill levels. It's six hours and it is $102. Right. This is also a Monday class now that I figured out the... the <laughs> that, that ones are Monday, not not Sunday. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this is by Desiree. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Habich. That her, how you pronounce her last name? Okay. Uh, this is uh, using in ink tense pencils, which are like watercolor pencils. You draw on them and then you add water, and then that that creates the paint look. Um, she is also, te uh, Desiree is also teaching other um, classes. My very favorite one is the one that she's got of the um, chameleon lizard because it's just funny. It makes me laugh every time I see that. And Desiree is also a vendor. Yes, Desiree's design. So a little key here for you, this class, this Monday class is actually being held at that Ontario Hotel. So if you want to take this class, you actually could stay the night there and not have to lug all your supplies from the car, just straight down from your room. This is a six hour class. It has a $45 kit fee that you would pay to the teacher. Um, it's a painting class, so obviously you don't need to bring a sewing machine. Um, it costs $102 and it's beginning to intermediate level class, but you don't need art experience. I think that's an important uh, caveat to, to be aware of. Right. So Laura Heine is a very, um, very well-known individual in the collage quilting world. And we're so lucky to have Laura teach for us every year. Um, this ladybug collage from Laura is just great. I love it. I love the shoes. <laughs> oh, I don't even see it. Look at the shoes. Yeah. Ladybug is wearing high heels. She's a lady. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. <laughs> Are they stilettos? Well, they're taller than I'm wearing. <laughs> that's, that's the worst thing about coming out of out of this COVID thing is having to wear shoes again. Yeah. 
Right. And it, oh, you notice that she is a lady. She's also wearing white gloves. Oh, oh yeah. yep. Yeah. She's gonna. She's definitely going to be able to show you quilts at the quilt show with those white gloves on. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this class has a hundred and five dollar kit fee, which I believe includes the pattern and the fabric you need to yes. make the quilt. Um, we call it a design class, which means you don't need a sewing machine. You're actually in the process of, from the pattern she has, designing what your final project is going to look like, because they're all going to be a little bit different. That's the beauty about a collage quilt. Um, it is six hours. It is all levels. Even I have tried to do a collage quilt. So if I have tried, you can too. <laughs> <laughs> and this class costs $123. So you are getting a definitely a fantastic experience with Laura. I know she's a very talented teacher and a sweetheart. So she's definitely not one you want to miss. Right. All right, Jillian, do the next one. Uh, this, this is a long arm class and it's on the handy quilter machines. Um, done by Jenny Padego, who is part of the So Wonderful Sister Trio, I guess is the best way to say that, right? So Correct. Kind of Wonderful is the uh, vendor name. It's actually there in the description. Well, I'd have to know how to read. <laughs> 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 but no, they, they uh, uh, Jen, Jenny is a great long arm quilter, and so she's obviously doing feathers in this class. And I happen to know, because a little birdie told me that they're going to be doing some piecing with their curved ruler, um, their curved ruler. And and I, I reviewed their latest book maybe two, three weeks ago. Love, love their stuff. Love their stuff. Yes, so that, that curved ruler is really cool. You buy the ruler once, and then you can buy all sorts of different patterns for it. Absolutely. So it's a really neat thing. So those piecing classes will actually be held, um, I believe, later in the week at the uh, Ontario Hotel. You will be one that you bring your own machine for. So make sure you know that you will have to bring your own working machine in what they like to say the words are good working order. Now, this class, real quick, Stevie did say it was a handy culture class. This is a stand-up long-arm class, so if you're looking for a Capri class, those comes later in the, um, in the you know, slideshow presentation we're doing here. Um, there are two students per machine head. That's kind of industry standard for long-arm classes. We do have some classes that are single person per machine head, but the class goes up dramatically. It actually doubles in price when we do that. Um, so this class itself is $137. It's a six-hour class with a $15 kit fee. It's for all levels. And you're going to learn 15 different feather designs. So that's a lot jam-packed into six hours. Yeah. Yes, it is. So Patricia Simmons is a vendor, for, and she uh, and her dad uh, run Quilters Rule, and she teaches all sorts of stuff about ruler foot quilting with templates. So this class is on a really cool uh, machine room that Stevie and I came up with uh, one year. And it's the, the classroom is set up with, I believe it's 10 standard Bernina domestic machines, you know, the, the six or 800 series, whatever they are there, you know, the, the nice Bernina regular domestic machine. And then we have 10 of the big Q20 sit down long arm machines with the big, I think it's like a 16 inch I mean, they're, they're the nice big machines with the big table. Uh, but it's the cool thing is it's the same skills on both machines. So you're actually going to spend half the class doing ruler foot quilting on a domestic machine like you would do at home. And then the other half of the class, you're going to do ruler foot quilting on one of those big sit down long arm machines. So it's a really cool um, class. If you want to try one of those Q20s out, if you're not, if you're kind of in the market for one, you've been saving up your money from um, the pandemic, but you're not quite sure what to, uh, what to do yet. This is a great class to take because not only will you, learn a really hot technique, which is the ruler foot quilting class, but you're also going to be able to see what it's like both on your domestic machine and what that step up would be. So that's kind of exciting. Absolutely. Uh, 
Oh, okay, hold on, Ed, Jillian reminded me. This is a six hour class. The skill level starts at beginners. The kit fee is $10, it's a $137 class. And like I said before, the machines are provided by Bernina and our dealer, Mel Sewing Center. This is also a Monday class taught by Pat Yaman from Brooklyn, New York. And this is a knitting class using strips of batiks. Now, the reason that uh, Pat uses batiks in this class is because batiks are the same color, both front and back. Uh, printed fabric has got white so that you would it would be a much lighter and the colors would not be as intense. I happened to talk to Pat this morning and she has just finished a rug, which will be up on the, the website uh, in a couple of days. That's all jewel tone batik. So that's, that's pretty cool. So this is very easy knitting. It's not uh, anything complicated. You know, one of those things that has all those letters that you can't figure out. This is just straight, straight knitting. So uh, it's, it's fun. And uh, I think Pat's come up with a great idea for this. The, yep. The this is a $97 class, yep. six hours, all levels. Like Stevie said, it, the kit, I believe, is optional now. No, that no, but it is not $134. It's $85 now. Oh, it's $85. Okay, yep. and it's a handwork class. Right. Now, so the Pat next. Pat is teaching one other, teaching a mystery class also. Later Correct, on. on Tuesday. Yeah. Yep. All right. So the next class is 1016C, Being Creative with Sukuniko Inks by Bobby Burquist. Bobby is a uh, vendor for Quilter's Treasure, um, and she does all sorts of these Sukuniko Ink classes. So that's it's really um, it's a it's a really cool medium, something that you could try out and give a shot to. Um, it doesn't make an absolute disastrous mess either, so that's pretty nice. Yes, and uh, she's going to be showing different uh, techniques um, with using salt and crayons and rubber stamps and aloe vera. And there's a whole ton of them. Wow. There's just a there's a lot lot of them which you can uh, you can see listed when you go to the website to look at this this class uh, uh, write up. So this is obviously a painting class. You don't need a sewing machine. It is $97. It is at all skill levels um, for six hours and has a $55 kit fee. Another Monday, Monday class. Uh, Sue Hines is teaching um, basically all week, four days. Um, and she has, uh, Sue has designed wonderful things to help you design motifs uh, uh, for machine quilting. So, but this is a drawing design class. Um, and I know that uh, students who've taken these classes before are just amazed at how many different designs they can come up with uh, in, in a class with Sue. Is it coffee included? Yeah, yes, caffeinated quilting. I get I guess you go fast. I don't know. <laughs> so this class is a hundred and two dollars. It is six hours. It has a three dollars, a whopping three dollar kit fee. And it is for all levels. And like CV said, it's a drawing class, so you're not on a machine and you don't have to lug one in with you. So Terry Lucas was a guest of ours um, a while ago. And this is class is 2005C, split the complement, color, thread, and ruler work. So another ruler work class. I wonder if there's a theme with these ruler work classes. It's getting yeah. popular. Yeah, it's popular. It is very popular. So um, this is a $97 class, and Terry has a book she teaches out of, so that's another thing. You can go check out her book and um, see she's teaching, I think, three full-day classes and a half-day class. Right. Um, this is in the standard Bernina domestic machine room, so not that Q20 room we talked about earlier, just the standard um, domestic room. Um, and did I go to class costs already? No, it's a $97 class. It's six hours. It's open for all skill levels and has a $45 kit fee. Uh, 
This is a, a, a Tuesday class, uh, Crystal Cathedral Windows by Laura Murray. Laura uh, uses the um, paint sticks, which are like an, an oil paint that's in a hard form. And you can just do amazing saturated color with paint sticks. And, and Laura is a master at using those, those paint sticks. So um, it looks like she, you're going to be designing and then cutting out and then fusing it onto something so that it looks like, like applique. <laughs> So that's that's neat. I like the I like the way this looks. Oh, absolutely! And those, as I said, the colors are just just perfect. Wow. So again, this is a Tuesday class. So shortly after this class concludes, the VIP class preview night will start. So that's almost something to look forward to. And that is the first hour of preview night is for registered class attendees only, and you will not only be able to view the quilts, but new for 2022, you will be able to shop the vendor mall. So that's really exciting. This is a $97 class, all skill levels, and has a $25 convenience. So bring your money. So this class, Tuesdays are right see Hexified Panels or One Block Wonder with Panels by Cindy Myers. Cindy Myers um, owns the company. Um, she owns the company A Couple of Old Broads. <laughs> so she and another local person started that together, and Cindy has taken it over. Um, this is a this is a class that you use sewing machines, and we are providing you uh, machines uh, by Baby Lock. Um, so kind of interesting. You'll see that she uses a panel on this, which makes a difference. Yes, it's, and those those uh, one block wonder type things are so much fun. The way you can put them together, and the different designs that you can get out of. A normal motif like on this one it's a sunflower but when you cut it up into segments then it kaleidoscopes around and as you turn the, the uh, triangles around you can get lots of different different looks and this is just a great fun fun class that is neat so and, this and cindy is also teaching a class um on doing jewel sequined uh, ornaments that it always sells out quickly. Oh yes, those ornaments always sell out. Yeah. Yes. So this Tuesday class is $97. It has a $40 kit fee and it is open to all skill levels. And again, the machines are provided by Baby Lock and Moore's Sewing Center. Oh, look at that quilting in those, in those circles. Wowie. Take it away, Stevie. Well, this, this is step-by-step um, -step custom quilting by Helen Robinson. Helen is part of the So Wonderful Sisters group. And uh, this class is, uh, yes, Connie, uh, we, we agree. Those, those So Kind of Wonderful Sisters are wonderful. Um, the, uh, this class is, is being done on a handy quilter machine. And you can see how all the different um, types, styles of motifs that you'll be learning as, as you can see in the picture of the different styles of quilting designs in those circles. Now, Helen also will be part of the uh, group uh, teaching from their cir circular uh, ruler. The, um, so th those are also great, great classes and those will be on the schedule soon. So, so these these machines are also provided by Handy Quilter in a um, stand up long arm class again with uh, two students sharing one machine head. Um, it is one hundred and thirty seven dollars to six hours and a fifteen dollar kit fee and open to students of all skill levels. So Linda Sullivan is a uh, vendor. She her company's name is Colorworks, and she always has some of the cutest projects for classes and i really like this i like the geometric shapes the triangles on this one. yes um and it seems like it's got a really cool construction technique with the easy strip piecing um with the quarter inch streams the seams and such um linda i don't remember did we pick more than one class from linda stevie i think, I don't think we did i believe this is the only one 
I believe this is the only one as well. Um, this class has machines provided by Juki and Moore's Sewing Center. It is $97. It is six hours. It is a beginner skill level and has a $10 kit fee. But look at the supply list. One jelly roll plus uh, two one-yard cuts of fabric. I mean, that. Yeah. How that's it? That? Yeah, that's it. Pick, I mean. Oh. That's uh, if you have to buy it, that's fine. If you're shopping your own own uh, fabric stash, I mean, it's pretty easy to pick those up. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, that that'll be a lot of fun. Awesome. Do, have, do I have to work or do I have? Can I take these classes? <laughs> uh, you have to work. Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Okay, this this is a Tuesday class. This is a hand applique class by David Taylor. Uh, I the thing because I have watched David judge enough. I'm going to say what I notice about this sample is that there is no shadowing of the darker fabric underneath the lighter fabric, and that is one of David's big uh, no notices as far when he's judging or when he's constructing his own work. So you will learn lots and lots of things from, from David. He's doing another um, applique class that is a chickadee, and he also is doing a piecing class. I mean, Matt and I just, our jaw, jaws dropped from that. David wants to teach piecing, <laughs> but it's a great, great quilt, and everybody I know will have a great time in that class also. So it is. So... David's class class is $102. It is a beginner to intermediate skill level. Has a $30 kit fee. And this is a hand class. So again, show up. You don't have to bring a machine. You don't need a machine to do the project, and you're good to go. Absolutely. Okay, so Cindy Sites Crew happens to be one of our judges this year for the quilt contest, which means she's also a teacher. So this class is on that uh, fancy Bernina Q20 half Q20 half domestic machine classrooms uh, provided by Bernina and Mel Sewing Center. You're going to learn 12 different variations on the clamshell design. Did you know there's at least 12 variations on that design, Stevie? No, I did not. <laughs> I, I just just hand appliqued a clamshell quilt and was wondering how I would ever quilt it. And I, I'm going to have to ask Cindy. <laughs> Linda, did you know there's there's over 12 different variations? I've taken some long arm classes in my day for the long arm that I look at and don't quilt on. <laughs> You, you 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 can hang clothes on it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that would be interesting. <laughs> yeah. No, C Cindy's a, a great instructor, and um, so I think it'll be pretty exciting to because you you can use clamshells as oh, wow. fill, I know, or as an all over design. I mean, it's very versatile. So I think that'll be good. So, so. this class is a hundred and thirty-seven dollars. It is a six hour class, has a $32 kit fee, and it is an intermediate skill level. So that that one, it'd be a great clamshell class for you to take, especially on that Q20 uh, domestic classroom. That's a really exciting class. So what's up next, Jillian? This is uh, a, a Wednesday class by Sue Brichard uh, called Moon Dance. And uh, it's combining triangles in, it almost, it looks like, uh, I can't remember, what's the name of that pattern? Robbing Peter to pay Paul when you got slices. It's real, really very effective um, design, especially the way she's echoed it with the design. So um, this, uh, the uh, machines are provided by Juki. And um, it is a go ahead. $97 class fee, six hours for all levels with a $45 kit fee. Yes. I, I think it's, uh, it's really a very modern interpretation 
of the of this design. So and, and yes, uh, I like the negative space. Yes, and Sue has lots and lots and lots of of uh, experience teaching. Oh <laughs> yes, she will be good. She will be very good. All right, next. All right, we have 3006C, which is strip piece of Mariner's Compass by Robin Long. Robin Long is kind of known for those Mariner's Compasses, isn't she? Yes, she is. Wow. Oh, my gosh, 16-point compass blocks in 16 different sizes. Ooh. That'll wow. blow your mind, won't it, Linda? Yeah. Yeah, and it's not. I, I would sit and count them all, but it would take me a while <laughs> to get up to 16. <laughs> Yeah, it's like uh, 12 uh, clamshells. I didn't know there were that many ways to do a, a Mariner's Compass either. But, wow. Uh, yeah. I really like playing with blocks, stuff like this. I really yeah. like it. Yes. Boy, that that will be be a great, great class. Uh, it's a $97 class. The kit fee is forty nine ninety five so I guess she's gonna carry around a bunch of nickels. Um, the machines are provided by Foth. So um, yep. I think I think the quilts coming out of this one are, are uh, this class are gonna be really exciting. And you know what, Stevie, let's let Linda do the next one. Yeah let, yeah Linda you talk about this one. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is one of my two classes that I'm teaching. Um, this one is the intro class, and I believe I'm doing this twice. They are half-day classes, and you'll bring your computer, and I can I can walk you through on a Mac or a PC, so we don't have to worry about that. And so many people you'll see on um, social media, they have the software, and they don't know how to use it or the benefits. So we explore the different keyboard shortcuts and what all the different buttons mean and what happens when you click them. And then the second class, um, which is, I, I believe we call it, what do the designers know? Um, that one's gonna take you even further about importing fabric, exporting the designs. So if you wanna write a pattern perhaps for your group, group or a magazine how to um, export those elements and how to modify some of the blocks with the easy draw program um, so there's there's so many many things that you can do with this and I'm gonna walk you through it uh, the way that I do it and you'll be able to um, design all kinds of stuff in your EQ program and print them either for piecing or foundation piecing or even for hand piecing. So we can do the templates as well. Yeah, we're uh, very excited that uh, Lin Linda is here to be teaching this because uh, I know it's a very useful program, but I love the fact that she's gonna teach people how to push buttons. <laughs> Linda, Linda knows how to push buttons. I, I push buttons. Sometimes I push the delete button a little too much. <laughs> now, Linda, they don't need to own a copy of EQA, do they? Um, I can get them a sample copy, but uh, they're going to have to make sure that they can get onto the Internet, and we're going to have to load, load it uh, right before the class. Okay. Okay, yeah. so there you go. So this is a $52 class. Again, it is a three-hour class, and it is for the – can you guess it? Can we guess the skill level? Oh, I would say beginner. It is a beginner. Yeah. That's right. That's, well, that's what you submitted, yeah. so I mean <laughs> – For this one, if you can push a button, we can make this work for you. I have a student for you, Linda. I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> so the next class we have Stop is three zeros. <laughs> what? Stop talking about me. <laughs> oh, if only. The next class is three zero six one C one two three steps for a simple baby blanket by Teresa Coates. Oh. This is, I believe, our first evening class. 
Yes, uh, but I know that this is minky, and I think you could just roll around in this. This stuff is so soft. It it uh, takes a little bit of getting used to sewing on it, but Teresa uh, has taught uh, classes with uh, with minky so many times that you know she will hold your hand and off you go. Um, she's also teaching a class on making a very simple blouse using double gauze, which is an absolutely phenomenal class. Um, it's a great fabric and she knows knows all the ins and outs. Good teacher. So a really exciting thing about this class and something that, a little personal note here, my wife for new uh, babies in, uh, in her family has made them uh, uh, cuddle kit blankets. So she gets the cuddle quilt kit and she puts it together. It takes her about a day. Um, you know, it's it's pretty easy to do. And they're the best things ever. We've used the same cuddle quilt for all three boys. So the twin, poor twins did not get their own cuddle quilts. They got Braden's. <laughs> um, but it's, it's the quilt we used when we were rocking them to sleep when they were little itty bitty and tiny. Um, and she even put batting in, so it's really nice and thick. So if you wanted to do a uh, tummy time and throw them on the floor, you know, they, it's got some padding to it. So it's not like they're going to bang up their knees or anything. So they're fantastic for, uh, for that. So if you're expecting a baby in your family soon, this would be a great class to take. Yes. Okay. How about you, you need a piece of jewelry to go someplace? How about taking the class, walking out of the class with this great uh, bracelet? I think this is really pretty. Very pretty. Uh, lots, lots of bling because it's, it's, um, it's uh, crystals and glass pearls. I mean, this is re really pretty. It's called the Duchess Bracelet. Um, the class is $52 and the kit fee is $36. So that's pretty cheap for the crown jewels. Uh, this this is the is a handwork class, obviously, and uh, Amy has been teaching uh, beading classes for us often for many years, and uh, they're always very successful. So it's pretty 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 bracelet too. So the next class, when Julian flips to the next slide here, we talked about Catherine Redford was on It's So Road a while ago, and yeah. we talked about these crazy little dorset buttons, didn't we? Yes, we did. I think these are just neat. I don't know what it is about old English stuff, but it fascinates me. Yes. Well, back in the day, we didn't have plastic buttons. And really? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna throw something's gonna throw something at me. Yes, uh, it, at the beginning, very often buttons were like uh, just a wad of fabric that they they did some thread work around to hold that together, and then that's that was a button. Dorset buttons actually at the beginning were made out of rings from sheep horns. Hmm. So and it's 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 wrapped and. Uh, because I also sewed these, I can tell you, you can't make one. It's like eating popcorn. These things are so much fun. So, and Catherine, Catherine's a, a very humorous teacher, and uh, she is English, so she is uh, qualified to teach Dorset Buttons. <laughs> so, so Stevie, <laughs> yes. you say you've made a bunch of these. What in the world did you do with them? Put them in a little box. No, actually, uh, you can put them on like a hat. You can put them in the center of a fl applique flower. You can oh. use them in, in wool, wool work, uh, and they're just. You could actually, you can, you could use them as buttons too. It looks like she got some yeah. beads on one of them there. Yes, you can put beads in them also. Sometimes well, in the, on the outer ring. So. This is a fifty-two dollar class. It is three hours on Wednesday evening and has a $15 kit fee and it's for all levels. And if you didn't guess it, it is a handwork class. Yes. And uh, Catherine's also teaching an embroidery class. So 
um, make sure you check that one out too. Yep. And she will be in the vendor booth. Uh, who, which name, whose name I just forgot. Global Artisans. Global Artisans. That's right. That's right. So, all right, Jillian, give us the next one. It, it, I'm sorry to have to say this each time, but Jillian's headphones broke. She can't hear anything, so we have to tell her what to do. <laughs> All right, so 3065C, get the most out of your body form by Joe Vetrelli. So Joe is actually one of our flagship uh, faculty members for ISAF. Um, of course, none of you knew that because we haven't released ISAF classes yet. Um, however, he is one of our flagship uh, uh, instructors. So these are kind of little intro classes that we put in the road catalog just to kind of get your feet wet. Um, for this year, so that if you're interested in this kind of a deal, you know to show up a little bit early and show and uh, head on down to ISAF. So this is about getting the most out of your body form. Interesting thing about Joe, Joe is, I think, the chief Fitbit person. He, he fits the costumes for all sorts of TV shows, for Dancing with the Stars, oh, yeah. all sorts of different stuff. And there's actually a big Dancing with the Stars announcement I can't wait to make about ISCF, but I can't make it yet. But you can probably put two and two together about what's going on there. Um, so this is a really neat class. Joe, um, I think he owns, I'm not sure, his vendor company is a French European. They sell some of the best body forms I believe you can get. Um, but Joe's an expert in fit, which means he's going to help you get these garments to fit correctly, which I believe is the biggest problem in sewing your own clothes. Something we could talk for days about on the ISCF side of things, um, but we're gonna give you a little taste of that um, for this. This is a lecture class. It is actually a three hour lecture class. So. It's quite a, quite a while. It's on Wednesday night, and it is thirty three dollars. There's no skill skill uh, skill level or kit cost or anything. You just show up. You bring a piece of paper, a pen. You make some notes. Um, but Joe is insanely entertaining. So if anything, you will spend three hours laughing with Joe and learning about how to get your garments to fit correctly. So I can't give this class enough of an endorsement for you. That is cute. This Go ahead, Stevie. Is, okay, this is a, a, a Wednesday class, uh, Pet Portrait Fabric Collage by Jane Hayworth. And you start with a portrait of, or a picture. I don't know if, if you actually take a portrait of a dog, but you have your favorite pet. And, they sh and Jane will guide you through making... Um, altering the patterns a little bit that you're going to draw off of your your uh, photograph and help you with fabric selection and that sort of thing. It, it is fabric collage, but it's not the same type of thing like Laura Heine teaches. This is very different. And Matt's ma really angry because this does not show a basset hound. But No, uh, it's got to show basset hound. I've been after everyone to make a basset hound. Well, I will provide you the picture. Got great basset hound pictures, <laughs> portraits even of basset hounds. This is a three day class with Jane at the hotel. So you can actually stay there, go have some breakfast, get your cup of coffee, go to class, escape some of the busy hubbub of the convention center and have almost a mini retreat at the hotel. Right. Right. And make that a basset collage. Oh, a basset, hell yes, a Lizzie dog uh, okay. collage. So this is a $291 class because it is three days. So we call this an 18-hour class. It's Wednesday through Friday. There's no kit, and it's a beginner to intermediate level. So if you're a beginner and you want to make a basset hound quilt, send us an email at info at roadtocalifornia.com. <laughs> Also, we should, um, uh, these classes that are at the hotel, you still have time to come over to the show. Uh, yeah, so we give you only a one hour 
lunch break at these hotel at these classes at the hotel so you're done at 3 30 in the afternoon so you'll be able to hop on that shuttle get over to the show and spend an hour and a half two hours uh, roaming through the show floor at the same time then you can hit back on the the shuttle and head right back yes yes okay so this, this class i'll take this one stevie good um, in 2020, when we were planning the 2021 show before the world shut down, um, we, Stevie and I came up with this idea called the Road to California Masterclass Series. And these, there will be one masterclass per year, and these will be at minimum a four-day class. Some years they may go all the way to six, but you never know. This one is a four-day class. It goes Wednesday through Saturday, again at the hotel. So you can um, stay there and come on down to your project. The great thing about the classes, the multi-day classes at the hotel is at your own risk, of course, but we do lock the doors. You can keep your supplies on your workstation. We don't put evening classes in these multi-day classrooms. So you don't have to lug your supplies up and down the elevator, you know, four different times. You actually can stay there. Um, you will be reproducing Rem Rembrandt's Repast, right? Did I say that correctly? Yes, I did. So this is this is kind of a, a pet project to Stevie in mind to get these master classes going. Um, but after four days with Melissa, you will be making some beautiful work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look look at how 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 she uses fabric to get light into that that composition. I mean, she is I, a master at this. I actually think I own one of her quilts. Jillian, check the bowl of cherry quilt. I believe that is one of her quilts. Well, not now. You need to change the slide. But yes. I believe I, I purchased one of her quilts at one of the uh, one of the auctions. We'll check into that as we go through the next class. So flip to the next one, Jillian. Oh, here's every everybody's uh, mom, really. Uh, Eleanor Burns. I mean, I can't even begin to count the number of people that have told me they have started quilting with Eleanor Burns. It's in the cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. And my daughter used to watch her too when she was on TV. Yes. Yes. Oh, so, uh, Eleanor's, Eleanor's so great. Yeah. And of course with Eleanor, the classes are provided by Baby Lock at Moore Sewing Center. Um, but Eleanor's classes are just, they're great. I know our, um, my wife, chose um i don't remember which one it was but it was an eleanor burns class she took for our wedding um i guess book that still hasn't been finished yet <clears throat> um but that that one she actually took an eleanor burns project and it went together in a hurry so she actually made all those blocks um really really fast um, they look great. They have all sorts of great um, signatures on them. And they're right now a great flip book to look through. So, um, yes, Eleanor's, Eleanor's classes are great. They have the kit fee. Another person that likes to carry nickels around. No, I don't. I thought I did. We'll look. Uh, another person that likes to carry nickels around. Her kit cost is $53.95. The class cost is $123. It is on Thursday, the 20th and it is six hour long and again it's eleanor it's for all skill levels so she will make sure you work on that kill and if you're lucky you'll see her do this yeah she throws yep. fat. and just in case this class fills up because it most likely will she will be teaching the same class on friday all right jillian do the next one This is a, a long arm on the Handy Quilter stand-up machine with Gina Perks. Again, Gina Perks is uh, a great, great uh, long arm person. And she has a, a quilt store also in, is it Payson, Matt? Payson, Arizona? I, I think so. I think so, yes. So she has been uh, long arm quilting for a long time and uh, is very creative with what, what she does. So uh, this will be a, a great one to, uh, uh, again, it's a uh, two students share ahead. 
and the time is, is split up between the two students on the head. The class is $152, six hours with a $20 kit fee. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to do one more class. And then since we're, our hour is up after this class, we're going to kick this back up on in not this coming Thursday, but the next Thursday, the next time we do it, so it's for the third Thursday of the month. Uh, Linda, Stevie, and I will blow, will go through the rest of these um, right after we interview our mystery guest. So the last class we're going to go through is 4016C, all about fabric dyeing and color mixing by Lynn Coolish. So I've got a great story about Lynn. Um, the last time Lynn taught at Road, um, we're having a very nice, quiet day in the office. And, you know, it's, it's quiet upstairs and nothing's going on. And all of a sudden, the fire alarm goes off. And we all evacuate like we're supposed to. Luckily, it was a setup day, so it wasn't a full show. Was it a show day? Oh, it was a full show day. The entire showcase was open. We had to empty out the entire building. I was running around like a chicken without a head, didn't know what to do. Um, it was crazy. Well, <clears throat> Lynn was doing a class, a uh, mixed media class, where they were using heat guns to make Tyvek sheets into different um, shapes. And when you do that, it emits some smoke and some heat. And the uh, sensors in the classroom thought that was a fire. I think it I was wasn't, here, uh, It wasn't a fire, but the, al the alarm thought it was a fire. Or the it did. Fire. There was no fire. There was no fire, but the, the, the alarms at the building thought there was a fire. So, uh, that was very exciting. So Lynn is not going to be using heat guns with Tyvek this year at Road, but she is going to be doing um, fabric dyeing and color mixing for, for this class. She's teaching, I believe, uh, three other, two other classes um, and, and an evening class. So if you want to take a class with Lynn, she's an immensely talented artist, somebody I could not recommend enough. This class is $102 as a $10 kit fee. It is six hours. It is for all levels. This is the first time we have offered a dyeing class in person at Road uh, because of the possible damage to carpeting in the convention center. I kind of really pushed this one hard. Uh, so if you take this class, please don't spill anything. <laughs> because... Because if you do, I think I'll be buying carpet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so perfect. Well, we're going to put a pause in it. We still have quite a few uh, classes to go. I think we thought that uh, we blow through the mold quicker than we did. So in, in Thursday, the 15th of July. See, look at that. That is the next time we'll be holding It's So Road. And the three of us will finish the classes. Oh, we'll have a guest. Put it on your calendars. Yep. See, Stevie's got the phone out, put it on our calendar. We yep. will do um, finish up the classes. And we will also talk about, um, oh, that's exciting. Um, we will also talk about uh, with one of our guests. And I'll give you kind of an input in uh, a bird's eye view into what's been going on here in the office. So um, real quick, let's talk about hotels for a second before we wrap up. The housing um, hotel information is online. You will be able to go online and book your rooms. Now, I already know for a fact that a peak night in one of the hotels is already sold out. Um, we filled nearly 40% of the block is since the 1st of July when we opened the housing block. So there's a couple reasons why I highly suggest you book with us. Um, one of them is Jillian and I go through these hotels frequently. Um, I actually stay at the Doubletree when I am there. Um, and this year with ISAF, I'm staying at the Doubletree for about two weeks. Um, so I am very particular about that. Um, I want you to have a good experience. I did stay at the Gateway a couple times as well. Um, so I stayed, I've stayed at a couple of the different hotels around there. Um, so number one, it's important to book for us because you get us going through personally viewing these hotels. You never know what, um, a hotel quality is going to be, especially when you only stay there for a couple of nights every year. You don't really know, um, the ins and outs of what that hotel has changed, um, throughout, throughout, you know, the year. So that's something we keep, we keep very close track of. Also, you get the best rate at those hotels with us. 
and this has been something that has been that has been in our contracts for years, but something the hotels have finally taken notice to is our pre-negotiated rates are cheaper than you can go on hotels.com and buy. So it's really important that you book with us. And if for some reason a hotel that is sold out that you want, we do have some room nights in reserve and we could trade um, some nights on one night for another night on another night. So there's waiting lists for the hotels you can go on. The last one um, I think is really important as we emerge out of the pandemic is we have to show the city of Ontario and the convention center, and especially these hotels, that quilting is still a viable convention to have. We have to show them that, that the dollars are still there for the city and the, and the taxes. And by doing that, it's booking through us because then I can show the pickup reports to the convention center, the hotels, and so on and so forth, and show how many different hotel nights we've picked up. So it's really important to book through us because that allows us the negotiating power and leverage with the convention center hotels as we are planning future events, securing dates, trying to get you better rates. Um, all of this is really important to, to have. It's kind of one of the things about working with the city building that nobody really likes to talk about is they're very, um, they're very much, you know, leveraging the tax money um, to support the show. So it might be cheaper to stay somewhere else on hotels.com, but I will tell you this, living in this area, I would be very careful about how far you stray away from the convention center because you can get into some pretty interesting areas of Ontario if you go too far west. So we've prevented, you have us as well. Um, I, have, I have called general managers of hotels at midnight and woken them up and made them show up at six o'clock in the morning the next morning because we've had problems. Yeah. Um, so when you book through us, you actually get our our leverage as being the largest event in Ontario to kind of knock them into line if we have a problem. Um, I think the most expensive hotel right now we have is $149 a night. Um, most of them decrease their rates by like $30. On average, we're about $120 a night for a hotel. So we're really, um, quite reasonable for, for a convention um, these days. So that's my little bully pulpit about hotels. You will notice, um, just so that you are aware, that we did not, we chose not to book, obviously, with the gateway due to issues with the laying of the construction. We did not um, contract with the Ontario Residence Inn um, Hotel. Um, we had some issues with the management. Um, we're working through them, but I do not anticipate having a block with them for this year. And I will tell you, if you try and book them online right now, they're trying to gouge you at $600 a night um, for a room in that hotel. So if you are a Marriott Bonvoy member like I am, um, and I know points are important where I stay, you can actually stay at the Sheraton Hotel. That's a Marriott property. Um, we have a small block there. We can increase the block um, if there's enough interest. Um, but again, you know, you want to go where the hotels are supporting road and the hotels that support road are the ones we contract with. So that's it about my, uh, preachiness about hotels. Um, at the end of the day, we just want you to come to the show and have a good time. Uh, some of the ins and outs, we really don't want you to be bothered with, but some of these things are important as you are making your hotel booking decisions. So on July 15th, we'll be back. We will have more classes to go through. We will have a guest, one of our faculty members for our 2022 in-person show. Um, and I don't know if we'll have a product review or not. I guess it depends on if we get one, right, Stevie? That's right. That's yeah, right. I'll, I'll ship you some road stuff. We'll have a road stuff product review. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right, everyone. We'll take care. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye -bye. And we'll see you in the 15th.